Shit. I honestly forgot that uh, we wrestled last week. We had a weekend off. Doesn't happen very often. Um, state tournaments and a lot going on. So a lot going on in the wrestling world right now. Uh, great time of year. Uh, I'll send a few shout-outs. Um, Waverly won another title. My brother's been coaching up there, helping for a long time. Uh, had four champs and won another state title. So congrats to them. Uh, Osage, my alma mater. First one since 81. Uh, congrats to Coach Jennings. Um, and, you know, a lot of, I think we have 15 seconds in our history. I think the most in in the history of uh, Iowa wrestling. So, you know, it's good to good to get back on top. I'm happy for them, happy for the community. And then Bosco, you know, right down the road, um, won another title. So, you know, great to see that the area being that strong. Um, just the state of Iowa going out state tournament, man, so many memories. And, and uh, man, a lot of a lot of joy, man, a lot of pain. Uh, you know, I enjoy getting down on the floor and getting to see both sides of that because um, I've been on both sides of it. And, and uh, you know, the the other side of that joy, there's there's a whole lot of work and um, done in the dark that people don't see. And uh, on the other side of that pain is a whole lot of growth. Um, so you got to be grateful and thankful for it all. And, uh, and that's why you, you, you know, you and you step out there alone in this sport, man, um, because of what it does to you. But then you also see the impact that it has just not on the community, but how much it impacts the coaches and the people around and, man, they're jumping for joy or they're crying with you. Um, I can tell you this, that there's not a, there's not a single guy that, that goes back in that hallway and is disappointed alone. Um, and there's not a there's not a single guy that goes back in that hallway, and they're not they're not met with a lot of uh, joys and and happiness too when they win. So um, certainly, man, and I'll tell you with two of our guys, you know, we had one guy win his fourth title, Kale Happel, um, incredible man, incredible career, uh, proud of him. And then you know you had another guy in, in Adam Allard who seconds away from being a four time state champion. Um, I could tell you this though, he, and we'll make sure that he uses that to make himself better. Um, I know it's a painful, but man, pain, pain is a, and it's something that helps shape you and helps grow you and helps you learn. And, and, uh, man, the defeats though, they make you better. I can tell you this. He, he, he took it, he took it like a man. It was hard. Um, you know, and you have some, you have, you know, you, you had a kid that didn't even show up to the stand, you know, um, which is crazy. And then, you know, you have a guy that loses his fourth like that, and he shows up there, and he stands up there. And, man, he's out there watching the other guys wrestle. And, and man, uh, I'm proud of how he handled that. Um, and that's how you should handle it. But, man, proud of him and how he's handled that. And I know how he'll move forward and how we'll support him and how him and the people that he's around and how this group of guys, you know, you and I will help him use that to make him better. Um, but, yeah, that, that was pretty pretty awesome to see, you know, a guy win a fourth state title and, you know, I mean, thing almost, <laughs> almost. And then, you know, we had two other guys. Wade Mitchell's been out the whole year towards towards ACL in uh, in football. You know, he would have won another state title. I know that. And then uh, Jacob Wittinger, man, sometimes, sometimes uh, he and you run into a tough district and things happen. But all those guys, man, they're going to be better for the wins, the losses, the injuries, whatever it is. They're going to be better for it. And looking forward to having those guys on our team. Um, in the future and moving forward and you know they've all kept incredible wrestling careers and we look forward to them moving those um, forward here and then you know we had one other guy Julian Farber win a, win a Georgia State title so um, I know I'm not talking about our team yet but those guys are our team and as soon as they as soon as they commit and they're part of us man they're part of us and I tell you what I was ready to go to war for our guys up in the stands I was ready to go to war for those guys up in the stands that's all I'll say about that um Let's see. I'll get to the duel. You know what? I got one other thing first. Because, uh, you know, we had we had uh, 11 guys get all academic Big 12 honors. 11 guys. 11 guys on our team. Um, nine of them are first team. And first team means you're a 3.2 or above. Um, Drew Bennett, uh, Noah Glazer, Derek and Jacob Hoschlag, Isaiah Patton, Pat Schoenfelter, uh, Bryce Dyer, and Max Thompson. They had all 3.2 and better. And uh, Calgary Spragley has a 4.0. Um, so I think that should be noted, man. When you when you when you keep a perfect uh, 4.0, and then we had two second team guys and Peyton Moore and Jay Schwarm. Um, so you know those things are those things are important to us because we want to raise the level of the program in every aspect, not just on the mat. Um, and so then I'll go on to the mat. Uh, you know, 
I actually really enjoyed having a Thursday night duel. Um, you know, one is I think you know, it was on the Big Ten Network, which I think is a great thing. Big, Big Ten's doing a great job um, showing wrestling and putting it out there. Uh, Thursday night, there's not a whole lot of other stuff going on. And, you know, we're wrestling a, a, a highly ranked team, and I thought we wouldn't perform pretty well. Uh, you know, Schwarm's been doing what he's doing, man. He's going out and he's scoring points. He's putting people on the back and putting them away. Uh, I think he leads the country in pins right now. You know, that's, that's awesome. We want him to finish leading the country in pins. Um, the way he's going, uh, you know, there's 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 a whole bunch more to come. Uh, 33, you're wrestling the number one guy in the country, and you know the thing with that is is go see how good you are, go take risks, go go see where you're at. And you know he got to his legs a couple times. Um, Gross is tough on top, man. He is he is tough, tough on top. One of the better top guys I've seen in a while. Um, but you know, I mean, Jack went out went out trying to fire and score, and and you know you got to be be able to figure out how to how to wrestle the guys, see how good you can be. Uh, 41 dominated a uh, a good guy guy that's ranked maybe top four or five in the country and he's had some really good wins um and mikey kept attacking you know and there was there was a there was one there was one point where that guy's really good defensively and he was he was almost in some danger but came up to his feet and wrestled wrestled all the way through it um but you know that was a really good match uh mike set the tone and and you know, be the guy, on, I guess, on paper you're not supposed to, and that's what you want to see guys do. Uh, 49, Tristan stepped in and scrapped, man. I mean, he he was he was in that match, had a chance to win the match. Um, I think, you know, the second period probably played a little bit of safe, and it cost him in the end. In the third period, he's like, I'm just going to go let it fly, and that's when he's best. Kind of letting it go, letting things fly and let them go, and, and you know, you got to have guys step up when they have their opportunity. And you got to show that you have some depth too, because you know that guy's a top fifteen guy in the country, and I'm sure that they're looking at it like, well, we're going to come out and we're going to steamroll this guy because, you know, he's not the he's not the guy. It's not Max Thompson going out there, and you know, and Tristan had had some other things to say about that. So I mean, he wrestled a great match um, and shows shows what what's what's in him. Um, there's a whole lot there. Uh, Derek just got to be able to finish tax. Um, had a chance and had chances to you know to score and just you got to figure out how to convert some of those opportunities but competed hard stay in the match um had a chance to win the match which you know that's what you want and guys to give themselves that that uh that opportunity 65 man guy got to our legs a whole bunch and wick's really good i mean i'll give i'll give him some credit um he's he's really good uh, but again you know you gotta there's some things with hand fighting that yeah, it's got to get back to. There's some of those basic core things that he's about that he just got has, has to do and he has to stay in that fight. Um, Steyer, bonus points again. Lujan, bonus points again. Um, 97. I mean, guy, talk about gritting up and toughing up and finding a way to win a match. Um, even, I'll just plain say it, when the ref's trying to take it away from you. Um, and he just kept his composure the whole time. He kept his composure better than I did. Um, but you know what, he stayed in that match and, in Patton, uh, hopefully that's, you know, symbolic of what our team is, what it's about, uh, that the guy's going to step up for the group and I'm going to fight for each other. I'm going to fight for something bigger than myself. I'm going to fight for those guys on the, the sidelines. I'm going to fight for you and I. I'm going to fight for everybody that's believed in me and the program. And man, that's what he went and did. I mean, that was a hard, that was a hard, gritty, tough fought match. Um, and ended up, you know, and when you look at it, I mean, that's, that's a difference maker, um, you know, for that duel. Uh, and then, and then, you know, I'll tell you, you know, they got a really good heavyweight. He was an All-American last year. Uh, Carter hit one really, really, really good shot and had a chance to score. And then, you know, he just got to hit another one. Hit another one, hit a second or third or fourth one, and, you know, you really give yourself a chance. Uh, we didn't – we chose both up. Uh, guy's good on top. Didn't want to put him in his best position there. And I know Carter can go score takedowns on that guy too. Um, but, you know, good way for us to finish the regular season, um, some momentum going into postseason. And, you know, they said we got a weekend off, and those don't come very often. So, you know, it was good to get some days where guys can just kind of re relax and recover and stay away for a few days. And, and now we get charged up and, and we get ready to, you know, we get ready to roll into Tulsa, um, you know, in next week. But allocation should come out on Thursday. Uh, you know, you have an idea, have an idea where the numbers will be. But I can't really, I 
can't know until you see them officially. Um, I know the Big 12 is is only going to continue to get better. We're going to continue to get more and more allocations. I, you know, I think last year maybe 57. We only had one. Um, I would say right now the the lowest number that we would have in any weight would be three or four. Um, so that's good. And you know, we're going to have some weights where there's seven or eight. So uh, you know, it's it's good that we have a good strong conference. And you know, we're going to be prepared and ready to put ten guys high up on that stand and get 10 guys in nationals and, you know, go score as many points as we can. But, man, March is almost here, so it's a great time of year. Look at that. Not even a question, man. I must be doing good. I must be on top of things. I'm very thorough, prepared. Uh, I'll tell you this. Hey, get out on Wednesday. Go watch that basketball team. Go support them. Go have another sellout. Um, you know, they're they're – they're in the thick of winning that conference um, in the driver's seat, right? I don't, I hate to say it, but they're in the driver's seat, right? Just go do your job. Go win. Go, go have every, every defensive stand like they've been having every time. They're going to be in good shape. Uh, but get out there and support that team. Um, those guys, are they're, they're, they're playing their tails off from start to finish. Um, and... Man, get out there Wednesday, support them, get this place sold out, get it rocking again, and and uh, you know help help the team, help propel that team to another victory, and then then they go ice it this weekend. But yeah. Coach, what, what, what do you notice with that? Like when you're in season and other teams like basketball, whatever, are having success, does, does like your team buy into that and feed into that too? That excitement? Uh, yeah, I mean that absolutely. I mean we're. If we don't support each other, man, there's something wrong. If we're not taking notice of a team doing really well, and we, man, we believe we're high level. I mean, we 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 prepare high level. Like, and I, I talk with Jake, I talk with the other coach, I talk with Bobby. I mean, we're. It's not like this is a, you know, like they're telling their teams, well, we can't win here. Oh, uh, you know, this is kind of a. Well, we're just hoping, like we're throwing our hat in the ring. Like we we believe we're one of the best teams in the country, and I know they believe the same, and they're they're preparing the same. Um, so yeah, I mean it. I think it just. I mean, you feel energy around. I mean, you feel people talking about it. I mean, you know when you're out in the community. And, yeah, I mean, when you see this place packed, that means that they're doing really well. But, I mean, absolutely we use it because if there's one thing, man, I I, I hope that we all raise each the level for each other, right? I mean, so they're late raising love for us, and, man, we want to raise a level for them. We want to take it to a whole nother level. You know, them get to the tournament and then get Sweet 16 and then 8 and then – Final Four, and then you know make a dang finals, and you know we want to go win a national championship, and Bobby wants to do the same thing, and Tanya. So I mean, yeah, we all we all rub off on each other. So they just got to keep rolling. I'm looking forward to seeing those guys uh, make a deep run. All right, go Panthers.